Chiefs, 5-0 and their last five games are the best. They're down defensive conversion percentage at 26%. Do the Chiefs keep it up? Is the, Ra- are the Raiders just doing their annual sw- like swan song here, Pete? That's what it kind of feels like with the with the caveat that they lost their you know, a number one receiver and their head coach in the, in the last you know two months. Yeah, they've had to deal with a ton. Uh, it's hard to deal with that stuff. I mean, people don't think it is, but it is. And I think that's starting to show up. And look, the last time the Chiefs played them, they destroyed them. They dominated them. That was the best offensive performance of the year for them. They haven't been good on offense like that since. Uh, but I think they're going to get back to that. And their defense is playing great football. The Chiefs, the, the, they finally made the move. Now Chris Jones is inside where he should have been all along. That was a bad decision. I think Ingram has helped them with the edge rush. And the secondary people are like Sneed's playing better. The young linebackers are running to the football. They're much better. And so I think that defense will limit that offense. And I don't think there's going to be a ton of points scored, but I think the Chiefs offense will be a lot better than it's been at times. Uh, And I think they'll score enough to cover this number. It's a big number to division game, particularly a second division game, but I'm going to lay it anyways. Yeah, if you get the Chiefs offense that you had in that Raiders game the first time, and they're going to win this one running away and easily cover but um like you said we haven't seen that offense since that game as a fake cover by them against the broncos last week the offense looked pretty awful in that game should have been like a 13 10 type of final and um you know they just how somehow the denver didn't cover that um so vegas done dallas on thanksgiving they scored 16 or less in their other four games since the bye so that offense is not looking good um, that Chiefs defense makes me look under on any highest n- number for their t- total, uh, but the n- total has been coming down all, all week. So if you didn't get it early in the week, I don't know if I'm playing it at 48 because um, it's already dropped four points. I am playing the Raiders plus nine and a half as a best bet. I'm just going to keep going back to the well with this Chiefs offense not looking great, expecting these low scoring games that they win closely rather than running away. So I got the Raiders. Oh, that's me. Sorry, I completely blanked out. What are, uh, hey, wake up over there! <laughs> I was, I was, uh, I was coordinating some things. Uh, I've got the Chiefs here, and I almost made it a best bet. I ended up passing just because I had a big enough card where I didn't think I needed to add one more. It's a huge number, and the Raiders. Maybe this is their last gasp at, at trying to get make a playoff run, but it just feels like, you know, they had those two wins going into the bye, and it was just like, oh, like a, like a like an emotional letdown. You got a coach, a head coach who's never done this before. You have Derek Carr who uh, is, was having a really good season and still is, but you know, just doesn't have the weapons out there. And the defense wasn't going to hold up its end of the bargain for the, for the, for the full season. I, I didn't think the question is, can the chiefs you know, be more efficient on offense? Um, the defense has held teams. I think they had, they had laid by score. They, I think they've given up 56 total points in their five and a run. I would think that they can limit the Raiders as well with with the lack of a deep threat, you know, depending on how much they get to Sean Jackson involved. But I mean, I tend to lean towards the Chiefs here. Didn't make it a best bet, but I, I would. I think the Chiefs could blow them out. Certainly, there is backdoor potential here uh, for Derek Carr and the Raiders. And I, I, I agree with you, Pete. I don't think we'll see a ton of points. The under is not a terrible look here, even though this matchup has gone over uh, each of the last three times these teams have played. 